Hey everybody, Phil Easy here. Today I want to take you through how to clone your cucumbers. Yeah, make cucumbers out of cucumbers. So this will be uh, skipping the plant or the seed stage and going straight from taking one of the suckers off of the cucumber here. And I'll show you how simple and easy you can make more cucumbers for backup or just more production. Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and smash that thumbs up. Let's go. So it's really simple. Just find yourself a sucker. I've got quite a few that have grown out. I haven't been on top of my pruning. Prune your sucker. And then I like to take about the top six inches of the plant. Take one that's got all the, the leader and the, the growth happening. I'll cut it about there. And then this plant, I'm literally going to drop in water in a glass. And we're going to sit that under regular light conditions for as long as it takes for us to see roots form, and then we'll plant it. Now, the only thing we've got to remember to do is change the water every day or two, because the water will become stagnant. I'll show how the cucumbers are doing, guys. They're almost at the top of the greenhouse now. Hard to believe. And these leaves are starting to get quite big. Go. Kind of heart shaped, I like that. And then lots of, uh, if you come down to this level, you can start to see all the cucumbers forming. We've been eating them like crazy. Here's the results of a pruning I did uh, July 10th. It's about July 25th right now, so we're just over two weeks out. I pruned some of the suckers off the cucumbers because I wanted to test a theory on. Uh, getting them to root and basically cloning our cucumbers. So I took four cuttings and I had two of them in more direct sun in the greenhouse and two of them sheltered underneath the cucumber plants within the greenhouse, so not getting a lot of direct sun. I don't know if you can guess which is which, but I'm going to show you here uh, some of the differences. So these two on this side were the ones that were out more exposed to the sun. They look like it. They're a lot more, uh, a lot lighter in color. They haven't grown as much either. These ones are actually flowering and um, vining and doing all sorts of goodness. So these were the ones that were sheltered. Now when I, I take a look and I did replace the water a couple times, there's no root forming on that one. Let's see what's happening with this one. No root on this one yet either. But this is amazing guys. Check this out. There's our little roots starting on both of the ones. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So there's roots forming. I changed the water maybe two or three times over the period. And uh, my advice is to make sure that if you're going to try this technique, keep your cucumber cuttings underneath your cucumber plant in the partial shade. And that seems to do a lot better for its uh, ability to root. So it turns out I have very little space in the greenhouse here, but I still want to get these in. So I'm just going to pick part of the bed right in front of some of the other cucumbers here. I've got the mulch. I'm really happy with what the mulch has done this year. Got to dig through it though. Can't plant directly in the mulch. You have to plant in the soil or the compost. So I'm going to get myself down to that level here. Try to make space I'm going to dig a hole with my fingers. I don't need to be too aggressive here. And uh, I'm going to take this cutting with its... Oh, looks like we got some flowers that fell off the borage. There's the rooting, or the roots. Put those into the ground. Backfill and firm around the plant. We don't want any air pockets by the roots. That's what can kill them. I'll put some mulch back towards it here as well, support it, and then we're going to water it. There's our little baby. It's even got a baby cucumber coming out of the top. So we'll uh, plant our second one here as well. I took the video because I just really wanted to show you the roots. There's my finger. You can get an idea, but wow, it, it does work. Again, get them in shade though when you're doing it is my advice. I'm going to put it in the ground, firm the soil around everything there. Bring the mulch back in around the plant, and now we're going to water it, and we're done. So there you go, everybody. 
That's how easy it is to clone your cucumber plants. Uh, it takes a bit of time, so you do want to plan that part of it. But I would highly recommend uh, doing this maybe, I would have done it a little bit earlier and uh, saved some space so I could uh, add them in because I, I do believe in success, succession planting and that that will allow our plants to uh, continue to feed us for a longer period of the season. There you go. Thanks for uh, checking this out. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I don't know if it's a bell. Yeah, notification bell, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Take care, everybody. Bye now.